guys. Um, I've been focusing on some of this isolated main river trees and stuff. Um, and depending on which way the tide's coming, I've been trying to find some that are like less, like, I guess they're, they kind of are behind points and stuff, a little bit out of the uh, current, kind of in a little eddy. That seems to be the deal. facing sonar and there's a whole shipwreck out there right off the bank I bet there's some more fish on that I'm not going to cast on it again but that's good that's a two or three pounder Morning update, I found some deeper main river cypress trees, got about two and a half foot of water on them, three foot, four foot of water when the tide was high, uh, so they're still in the water when it's low, but the tide was really high, um, it was incoming, and I had a little flurry, I didn't record any of it because I didn't set the hook, but I got six or seven bites almost on every tree I flipped. I started flipping a little power shot with the Berkeley Maxent D-worm, the black color, and I couldn't hardly shake them off. The only reason I uh, shook them off was because somebody was in front of me and I didn't want them to see. But I wish I could have set the hook at least once or twice. Um, but I did feel like I got some decent bites. I don't know how big they were. I had three or four that pecked at it, felt like small ones, but I also had three or four that just thumped it and swam with it. And it took me 20 seconds to shake them off. So I'm excited about that. Got something to do when it's at high tide. And we're about to run to another creek and check some other areas. Call your shots on these little pieces of wood. That weight swung around. He was flopping right in the knuckle. I guess it's just I wish that we were catching a bunch of three pounders and we're not seems like this is the average size fish no matter where I go Let's see what it weighs yeah I mean it's a little, uh, two pounder but it's peeing Orange eyes on bed, probably. I'm gonna start shaking them off now, but good news is, put on a bigger hook and I switched. I made an adjustment, started flipping. Berkeley Pit Boss power bait. And I, I was using some other stuff. Um, 
just because I don't have a lot of these. And I was trying to save these for the tournament, but I found an extra pack. So I decided to stop flipping what I was flipping, put one of these on, and they seem to be holding on to this a lot better than the other brand I was, I was using in practice earlier. I think yesterday too, because it was cold, they were biting really weird. They're definitely holding on to it today. What I'm doing, I'm basically fishing in these little creeks and I'm trolling down the bank, throwing a bladed jig at whatever targets there are until I uh, like channel swings, deeper cuts and stumps and whatever I see on you know forward facing sonar. And when I finally get to a piece of wood, I'll, I'll stop and pull down or just flip it as I'm going by. And I'm catching fish doing both, so it's kind of like a, a secondary pattern I got going on. Small guy. Small guy. I sent him to the moon. <laughs> Again, in the truck, but I decided to pull out of the water and move to a different ramp, mainly because it is rough as crap out there on the main river, and I don't want to run down there. And there's a boat ramp there, so I save a little boat gas too and just drive over there. But God, it. It's, it was pretty bad. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but like, you can't run but like 25 miles an hour. And it's gonna be even windier Thursday. It just depends on if it's blowing against the tide or not. But if it is, that's gonna be miserable. Thursday could be interesting. We may, I mean, we really may lose like three or four hours of fishing time, depending on how rough it is. Just trying to get there and get back not beat our fish to death so I may try and look up on Wednesday see what we can find um, just to see if I if there is something up there that's better because I'm still I'm still really not catching any size I caught a ton of fish this morning I got a lot of bites too so I've got a decent idea of what I need to do but just gonna have to hope these fish get a little bit bigger. I think those females are pulling up and it's getting warmer and it's a full moon and I think it's gonna be better and better and better as the week goes on, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see what this new place gives us too.